hey y'all welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here so as you can tell by the title i'm going to be tackling my porch in this video um it's just a catch-all for any and all things as you can tell we got amazon boxes diaper boxes stuff that needs to be hauled away to the dump um my rugs even out here just airing out but yeah i'm gonna tackle this as well as my little walkway area walking up onto my doorsteps now this cleaning is long overdue i think the last time i pressure washed my porch was two years ago when quarantine first happened i borrowed my mother-in-law's pressure washer but um i went out and bought my own for this video obviously not just for this video but to have our own so i don't have to borrow someone else's um and i picked ours up from harbor freight if you're on the market for one i definitely would check harbor freight before i check glows um i'm also going to be planting some flowers too so y'all stay tuned for that but first things first i gotta get everything off this porch so we can get some cleaning done Oh, so y'all, if y'all notice my underpinnings looking a little crazy, um, I posted these two pictures back in January. We had a windstorm or tornado come through, and this was how it left our um underpinning. And if you go back, you can see the kids' trampoline was up on top of the trees. Um, so that's why our underpinnings looking a little crazy. I think we, well, we've talked about going and just putting some black metal taking down the plastic underpinning and putting up some black metal that way it matches our roof we um we had our black metal roof put on about three years ago so that's just what we're talking about doing i'm not sure if that's going to be a thing also we've also talked about um doing vinyl siding on the house which we've already got a price quoted for that the same got it done our metal roof he does um final siding too so that's just something that we're thinking about doing
Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on then We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break That maybe he ain't worth it Too bad I hate advice Cause out of sight and out of mind is perfect It's so hard to decide Oh, I know He got me good in his pocket I know that I missed a treat
Also, y'all, all those dents in my trailer. Um, I don't know if it was there when we bought our house, because I can't remember, or if it happened whenever we moved our house here. They had to haul it through the cornfield, which is behind our house. And um, that was just some grade A redneck stuff going on there. Like I had corn husk hanging out of my trailer for like a whole week straight until they like set it up and everything. It, it, it looked crazy, but yeah, that's another reason why I want vinyl siding. Why you wanna let me go na na now? Are you saying that to change your mind? For love or pity, let me know na na now. Cause your love made me, made me go blind. What 
what am I hearing? Saying you're moving back. When were you gonna tell me that? What am I hearing? It feels like a heart attack. Someone help me catch my breath again. How did you stop loving me? How is that even possible? So Mikael was actually cleaning up the yard with me this day and he found this wash bucket over in the woods. I'm not sure if it's ours or I don't know where it come from, but um he gave me the idea to put some plants in it. So I just filled the filled it up with some pine straw and um I ran out and got some mulch and some flowers. So that's just what I'm gonna be doing here. And I had this bird bath over in another section of my yard. I just drug it over here beside the doorsteps just to feel that empty spot. I had been wanting something to go there for the longest and I didn't know what. I was honestly going to put an old wheelbarrow there and put plants in it, but I liked the idea of the bird bath better. y'all here's the finished product i do want to go and get some more black mulch and lay out but that'll be later um and i did add some new solar lights and yeah that's it simple budget friendly 
and it looks a lot better than what it did. My favorite thing though is the bird bath. I love that part. I cannot get over how nice and clean this wood come. Like it honestly looks like a newly built porch. But um, here's what it looked like before. It was all stained and uh, it just looked bad. Like there's rust stains from where stuff had sit there and then I guess the pine trees had turned it green looking. And here's the after. I even put up the new flag and it just feels a whole lot better out here. Um, this has been done about three or four days now and I've been coming out here more and sitting. It just feels a lot cleaner and neater. So we'll be doing that a lot more now. The only thing that I didn't do that I wish I'd done was find some um, cushions for my patio set up here i didn't find any that i liked and the ones i liked was like fifty dollars for one cushion and um yeah i'm not doing that for something to sit outside so i'm gonna keep looking if i find some i like dollar journal did have some for 18 dollars, but i didn't like the pattern of them i didn't it was too bright for me Y'all, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully, I motivate y'all to get up and get out in the yard. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all back here Wednesday.